All right, that time again, time for another solo over nighter in the woods. High of 70, low of 45. So perfect camping weather, and guess what? Summertime is over. Fall season is here. Let's get to our spot and get her done. Several weeks ago, I talked about at some point doing a do-it-yourself hot tent. So these past couple weeks, I've been scrounging materials up, seeing what will work, what won't. And I found two things that I want to incorporate into a hot tent or a do-it-yourself hot tent. And I'm going to utilize those items today. Now, before we get too far down the trail and somebody says, he didn't find those pallets in the woods. Actually, my property is 120 years old. Before that, there was three mine shafts in the 1800s. And my house and barn sit on an area that was actually a dump site for about 100 years. So yes, I found them pallets in the woods. So it'll hold my fat ass, so we're good to go. Some of these boards here are pretty messed up. Like I said, the property is 120 years old, 120 plus years old, and there's dump sites all over. That one's newer. This one's been out there for probably 20 years. So I want to make sure this thing is safe by taking these poles. I'm going to slam them against these boards right here and lock them in place with an arbor knot. It's also going to keep the poles spread apart so I can suspend it from the tree. Some can break it, some can't. I can't.
twist the rope, walk up the rope, pull it through. There's my pocket for my Marline spike hitch, and my pole will sit right inside here. It will tighten down and hold her in place. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. Some of these boards are questionable, meaning the nails might pull out when I lay on this. Because think about it, I'm on top of this and everything on the bottom would just pull apart like that. I'm going to go ahead and get some bank line and do some arbor knots on a couple of them, like I said, that look questionable. And then it should hold everything in place and still swing freely. So start working on that and then we'll figure out how to hang our tarp over this and then we'll be in business. Just like that. Here's a quick glimpse into how my mind actually works. Clove hitch right here gives us two pigtails, then marline spike hitches that will hold our bed in place. It goes around our poles and suspends our bed. Now, why not do the exact same thing? We just put a bowl in around that tree. It's going to give us a ridge line. If I try and attach it to that vertical pole, what's going to happen? It's going to want to bend as I tighten it. So what if we do a clove hitch around that vertical pole with two pigtails to the ground with marline spike hitches for our stakes. As I hammer them in, the pole will remain vertical, pulling that ridge line tight.
As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. We got a fair in town and I can't go because I'm here filming for you. So I give you Corporal's Tenderloin. Better than fair food. The pork tenderloin was outstanding. Um, my first time doing that. It actually gave the fair food a run for its money. So I wasn't there, but I got the food anyways. Um, you know what to talk about tonight? Got some things coming up we'll talk about tomorrow morning um talk about the shelter as well well it's officially fall it's about 50 degrees out here so i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna relax by the fire I'll catch you on the morning Yes, the bed worked, but it's like sleeping on wood. And as far as it cooling down last night, it cooled down, but it's still humid. So, yeah, whatever that's worth. Yes, I showed a coffee press last week, and I'm out of coffee, so I had to jump over and grab the instant, but we'll manage, so catch you all in a few. All right, let's talk about our shelter. Once again, simplicity at its best. Clove hitch, clove hitch on our limb gives us two pigtails. Marline spike hitch to our poles. Poles are run through two old school pallets, wooden pallets, that created our suspended bed. And it will sway back and forth and rock us to sleep. We then hung our tarp with a ridge line to a pole we put in the ground. Once again, a clove hitch and two pigtails to secure that pole. Draped it over in an A-frame style configuration with a roll-up door. And last but not least, we have our tree table that's currently holding our lamp. Now you can put a shaving kit up there, or hygiene gear, a book. You could actually put um, a coffee pot or a fork, knife, spoon, plate set, whatever your heart's desire. All we did is we split two logs down and wedged them on our tree and secured them with arbor knots. And then split two more logs and placed them on there for the top of our table. Worked out well. And there you go. 
Solo overnight building a do-it-yourself raised pallet shelter in the woods. More great things to come. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Be out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. it's time for Corporal's final thoughts. I get asked this question a lot. Bug in or bug out? Should I stay or should I go? For me, when I hear somebody ask that question, it goes back to one thing. The decision-making process. And for me, no matter what I do, where I go, who I'm with, where I'm at at the time, and what my intent is, it boils down to one simple thing. Making the decision and sticking with that decision. Back in the military I was taught, hesitation kills. Think about that. While you're deciding whether or not to bug in or bug out and dwelling on that, whatever opposing threat that you're afraid of or that you know is coming, is actually coming. So the longer you procrastinate, the worse it's gonna be for you, your family, your friends, your job decision, life choices, etc., etc. So, back to the question, do I stay or do I go? Do I turn left or do I turn right? The most important decision is making a decision. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.